Welcome to Yes Lord with your host, Reverend R.J. Hickington. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. First of all, I want to say God bless you. I'm your host, Reverend R.J. Hickington from St. Jubilee Ministries located in Chicago, Illinois. I want to thank you for watching this telecast. Today we're going to talk about paying your tithes in God's money. See, a lot of you, you don't know the significance of paying God his money and paying your tithes. Paying your tithes is something that each and every one of you should be real concerned with. But it seems like we're not getting this point across to you accordingly. Now, I have had a problem in my church with a lot of niggas coming to church. They go out there Saturday night, they party, they do everything they want to do. But they come to church that next Sunday morning, they don't feel they need to bring me no money for God. Well, first of all, I'm going to tell you because I knew you're watching. I got a car. I got expenses. I got to keep these shitting lights on in this church. I got to pay to keep my shit in the hair trim. I need money, and God needs this money also. And a lot of you got to get it down in your heart that you got to give me that money to get it God. See, you don't know God like I do. I know him on a first-hand basis. And it's a lot of things that you don't know that's going to happen to you if we don't give God his money. God gave me a list of people who we particularly real, real pissed off with because they ain't been paying their tithes. And I'm not going to say the names on the air. You know who you are. And God is real, real, real mad with your ass because you ain't been paying that shit money. Now, I'm not going to scare you. As you can see that number on the line, I want you to call in and try to tighten up that tab you got with God because God is about to send them niggas at your ass. And while you calling in, we can open up the request lines. Now, I don't want you crying and they're afraid and shit. God going to give you some leniency. He's going to give you to the end of this telecast to catch up on them tides. Until then, we're going to open up the request lines. First caller. Now, look here, goddammit. I've been sending your ass money for the last 10 years, man. You said you were going to pray for me and you was going to stop me from whooping my wife's ass. And I was going to stop all this goddamn drinking. I got drunk last night and beat the shit out of my wife. Man, you's a dirty motherfucker. I ain't never watching that shit no more. Well, first of all, Nigga, I don't know who the fuck you are. And I don't know who the hell your wife is. I don't know if the wings been out there whoring or whatever. But you ain't never talked to me about stop drinking. That's on you to stop drinking. All I'm concerned about is getting that money out you. You can beat that bitch brains off all I give care. As long as you send me and God our money, I don't give a shit. Next call. How you doing, Rev? I'm doing fine. How are you? How's the ministry going? Everything is beautiful. We just trying to make them tighten up on the ties, that's all. Well, I got some bad news for you, Rev. I'm finna come down there and kick your motherfucking ass, man. So I ain't seen no motherfucking blessings since I've been watching this motherfucking telecast. I done lost my job, my house, my family, every motherfucking thing. Giving you all my motherfucking money. You said if I keep paying these tithes and keep sending your ass all these offerings, you was going to bless me, man. I ain't seen shit, nigga. Well, first of all, let me tell you something. It ain't nothing but space and opportunity. You can bring your ass home down here just as soon as you want. But before you even make it down here, my body guys that put their foot so deep up your ass, boy, your breath going to smell like shoe pops. Now, for anybody else out there watching, I know a lot of you are mad with me. You say, he don't want nothing but our money. And he want to cheat with our wives. It might be true. But all I want is God's money. Now you got up to 30 minutes to send us that money. Or we going to go to every household that belong to this church. And we going to start kicking asses. I'm talking about from the old to the young. It's going to be over half and a night ass whooping this Sunday morning. Now, I'm your host, Reverend R.J. Hickett, 
the Lions gonna stay open even when the telecast is off. Cause we gonna take down, we got everybody name and numbers, cell phones, everything. If we don't have God's money by 4.30 this evening, we gonna come down there and kick some ass this evening. I wanna leave you with the yes, Lord, and God is good. I want you to remember that everything is gonna be alright. He's coming back for the true and good. Pig out.